Hey there guys, so um, just in this video clip I have stitched together two weeks worth of the um, main training. Um, obviously not everything, but a fair whack of it. So um, bench press, yes, yeah, still holding strong, getting my three sets of three at 200 kilos. And generally, you know, each session it's moving better and better, you know, each week. Um, last week... Oh, sorry, sorry, yesterday, Monday, which isn't included in here, but um, that was a, a harder session simply because, you know, you'll see at the end of the video, I mucked around with the um, natural stones and I ended up doing two sets of 10 on Friday and then two sets of 10 again on Saturday. So when Monday rocked around, obviously the um, biceps still hadn't recovered and just, you know, grip and forearms in general were still quite fatigued um, and that does impact your bench. But, you know, I still got the um, session done. I still did the three sets of three. So as a whole, you know, my strength base is increasing even if I do, you know, stuff on the weekend, which would have, you know, derailed me um, in the past. Now, my front squat... Um, it has improved as well. I ended up getting, you know, in, in this video, I ended up getting four reps and then the week after. So last week I ended up getting five reps um, at 180 kilos. So that's improving as well. Um, I am squatting a lot more. I'm squatting on Monday, Wednesday, um, Friday, then with the natural stone and then sometimes Saturday as well. So at a minimum squatting, you know, three times a week, sometimes four times. Um, and it just depends, you know, Monday's an easier session. Um, and it's more just technique work and making sure that the bar path and everything like that is nice and clean for when I, you know, front squat heavier on the Wednesday. Um, and then just keeping on top of a few of like the shoulder health mobility things. Um, so just playing around with this stone, I call it the snot block. Um, it's just 28 kilos, so you know I'm pressing that. Um, and then my dumbbell one arm shoulder press again, you know, that's gone up. Um, towards the end of the video, you'll see it. I ended up hitting 15 reps um, with 56 kilos on my right. And then what I ended up... I ended up getting 12 reps on the left because it came down in an awkward position and I just bailed on it um, and then it hit the side of the platform and I actually snapped a weight plate. So um, yeah, 16 years and I finally broke a weight plate. So yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. Um, wasn't mad at all and you know, I got heaps of those five kilo plates because I bought them in bulk. So um, yeah, you know, it was just something I'm going to keep now. Um, and then what else? You know, body weight is slowly drifting north um got up to about 113 kilos now so yeah um definitely the heaviest i've been in a little while i'm then you know i'm still going to compete in the 110 kilo class so i'll need to cut um and then just based on you know previous experience the way that i'm going to you know cut and diet down is going to be a little bit um different i'm going to try a few different things mainly um some of the cold water sessions and just fasting 24 to 36 hours once every seven to ten days because it just puts me at a huge calorie deficit um crashes you know full body inflammation and the rest of it um and then it means on the days that i you know eat i just eat normally like i have been um so yeah, you know, just something slightly different that I'm going to implement. And you know, if I'm all of a sudden, you know, 3,500 calories deficit on one day due to the fast, that's pretty much, you know, 500 grams of body fat gone, or for you guys in the States, uh, a pound of body fat, you know, shedded. Um, and I didn't, you know, have to spend a whole week keeping my diet perfect in order to do that. And I'll be doing that alongside, you know, some of the um, cold water therapy because um, moving house um, in a week's time or technically six days now um, so yeah there's going to be a spa bath so you know first thing in the morning you know when it hasn't heated up and things like that it's going to be a lot colder um, so I'm just going to get used to some of the cold water you know therapy especially you know in winter as well um, keep it you know the tub cold jump in spend you know 15 20 minutes in there um and just, you know, help my body, you know, bring down the inflammation, but also just burn more total calories at rest. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to do that diet-wise. I'm not changing anything. Um, 
you know, I'm working a fair bit. Um, if I could get my evening meals a lot more consistent, um, just from a calorie, you know, standpoint, that would definitely be um, helpful. And then, you know, once I've moved into this new place and I have my garage gym, you know, completely set up, I'll be able to train a lot more in general. Like at the moment where I'm at, training outside, you know, it's great, but, you know, there's sessions where you get rained off, there's times where, you know, it's just too dark, there's times, you know, where you just get eaten alive by the mosquitoes, and that's a, a big pain in summer here in Australia, so um, there's a few other factors, so yeah, having my own place, you know, completely set up um, the way that I want, you know, it means, you know, before I go to work again, you know, I end up doing, you know, a set of 25 pull-ups, and then I hop in the car, and I'm off to work, when I get back home, you know, knock out another set of 25, all of a sudden, you know, it's 50 pull-ups, done in the day um you do that monday through to friday and you've knocked out an additional 250 reps um it's little things like that that really start to add up and you know improve your overall conditioning um so yeah just i'm looking forward to a lot of things but you know being where i was and where i currently am at the moment until i move um training outside you know really enjoy it i've got you know a bit better at the stones with you know certain aspects um so, yeah, I'm just enjoying my training, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to what's going to happen, you know, in the future. Um, with this blue stone that I'm squatting with, it's uh, 131 kilos. So ideally, you know, on a Friday, I want to work the fitness level up so I can knock out, you know, four sets of 10 of this. Um, it doesn't hit my back too hard. It really cooks the quads, um, glutes and hamstrings. And I definitely feel them the next day. My mid and lower back, I can tell that I've, you know, worked them and it would be the equivalent of like a moderate, you know, deadlift session in terms of like lower back, you know, doms, um, nothing serious. But as for my legs and the rest of it, um, I definitely know that, you know, they've been hit hard. So yeah, if I can bring up, you know, four sets of 10 um, with that blue stone without gassing out, um, that's just going to, you know, help me get bigger and stronger but the other part that gasses out is obviously my my arms and forearms so I need the pull-ups again to bring up some of the conditioning um I need a bit more direct bicep work and the rest of it but I'm sort of just really holding off until I've got my new place set up and then I'll just be able to get everything done um much more efficiently and it'll be a lot more streamlined so yeah I'm expecting obviously progress to skyrocket um And then Thursday, obviously, then having the bench press in the garage, um, I'll just start doing light bench on a Thursday, and it'll be, you know, technique and speed work, so that when I come across to Monday, um, everything's moving nice and quick. Um, So, yeah, I'm just enjoying it at the moment, and then front squats, you know, once I'm settled a little bit more, and the fives at 180 are feeling a bit easier, I'm going to really kick off hard on that um, squat every day program, like I've you know, had every intention of doing it at the moment, um, definitely, you know, got myself into bed earlier, um, sleeping, you know, far more quality of sleep's far better, waking up each day, you know, feeling, okay, yeah, I've had a a good night's sleep, um, so, you know, all those sort of things, I'm getting into the routine, um, and then, you know, do that long enough, and it's going to be a really good habit, um, and, you know, some of the, the squats on the Monday thin through to the Friday, I'll just keep them really light in the morning just until my body sort of, you know, registers that, hey, you know, this is the new way of life. This is what I need to do, um, you know, switch on and just get it done. Um, as I think I said prior in one of the other videos, you know, this weight here, you know, 56 kilos. My goal is to um, work this up towards the 20 reps. It's quite interesting because once you get, you know, higher in the reps, it comes back to conditioning to an extent as well. So I just got to bring up, you know, my general base fitness. Um, Another perk of being at the new place is they have a really, really long driveway. So, you know, I'll be able to do my tire flips um, for distance again, all that sort of, in a way, strongman sort of training um, without going too heavy, just to build a really functional, um, you know, cardio base that's going to help you know, carry over to what I'm doing specifically in training and then getting back into the the 10 minute runs as well. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to numerous things. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously, you know, feel free to comment below. Always happy to, you know, reply to comments and get back to you guys where I can. Um, 
but yeah, um, I just got to see this week out, and then you guys will see me in the new place. So, um, have a great day wherever you are, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.